Hey guys, so update. Well, this is what we found out as far as the warranty issue with uh, the air conditioners on the Oliver. Um, the warranty is for two years from Dometic. So that is two years from the date of purchase. And just so people are aware, if you do have that easy start installed, I guess things have been worked out that I don't think there's no problem at that. At least that's what Richie told me, that they've worked it out, so it's not a problem. So they still have They warranty. still will honor the unit. They're still under warranty if, the, uh, if you have the easy start installed. The problem that we ran into is the type of unit we've got is a heat pump, and so Oliver's not even carrying those no more. They're not even offering them as of 2018. So these new units coming out do not even have the heat pump. So they didn't... The battery had died. So yeah. anyway, we were saying that the unit that we have, they don't even put it. Yeah, they don't install the units that we have anymore, the heat pump. From what I understand now, all they're installing is the AC unit with the heat strip. Um, but just so you're aware now, if something does occur to your unit within the two years, they will go ahead and warranty that and, and get it squared away. But if now, they substitute the unit completely, just like they did with us, your warranty does not start over again. It just starts and ends uh, with the dates of the first one, the original one. The first purchase, that's right. Yes. So when you bought your, uh, your Oliver, it's two years from then. Now, if it's two years and 10 days and your unit goes out, then you will have to buy it yourself and then you'll get your another two year warranty. So that, that's how that works. And uh, they assured us that they got everything squared away. They ran through uh, a bunch of uh, diagnostics with the medic and they said uh, everything is, is, is good to go. So uh, we're finally heading out and uh, we're just glad that everything worked out. And while we were also in the plant, they had to go ahead and change out our uh, O2 sensor, sensor underneath the dinette. It just kept going off and off. We could never get the thing to stop chirping all the time. I finally had to pull the fuse so that it wasn't even working. So they went ahead and replaced that sensor. So uh, hopefully that's fixed as well. So overall, everything worked out. Uh, it was a little bit of a bummer having to hang out for a few days at a hotel. Yeah. Uh, but we're glad to be back on the road and uh, I got to say the folks down at Oliver did a great job of cleaning up after themselves. The inside of the trailer, the floor was nice and clean and they did a good job of taking care of it for us. So we're happy, right honey? <laughs> it's hard for me to say that we're happy because I'm not happy the way it was handled. I'm not happy, but yes, uh, as far as the workers go, yes, they did good. Um, I have very mixed feelings. I'm a little disappointed, but let's move on. It's behind us. That's fine. Not everything goes the way we want it to, so it's okay. Let's move on. So now we are trying to outrun uh, a storm, a bad storm. And we're really anxious to get out of here. I really don't like this place in this area. We're headed toward Indiana. I'm gonna go see my brother who's out in uh, Indiana. So we're gonna drive, I don't know, four hours or so or whatever, and probably find a Walmart along the way and just overnight. And probably tomorrow night, we might have to find a little campsite or a dump station somewhere and go ahead and dump our tanks. How full are they? Well, anyway, uh, oh. later. Uh, okay. Kentucky, guys. Yeah, we decided not to do Interstate I-65. So we're taking uh, North uh, 69. Less traffic. Roads thus far seem to be in pretty decent shape. I know once 
once we get toward Indiana that everything's going to fall to crap, but for right now, roads ain't too bad, are they, honey? Yep, not at all. And also the traffic, there's not very much traffic out here on this. Uh, oh, that's pretty. Yeah. temperature out here is phenomenal guys 80 degrees humidity is very low I guess I, I don't feel it being humid at all and we don't even have the air condition running in the truck just got the vent going window cracked open and uh, <laughs> it's just nice out isn't it honey yes there. our spot for tonight by Evansville Evansville, Evansville Indiana yep. uh, we quickly found out the Walmarts are not very friendly here <laughs> so we look for this cracker barrel over here but it was supposed to have seven uh, spaces for RV and buses and we just don't see them so there is this abandoned restaurant next to it and we reckon we're not bothering anyone. So we're staying here and we got a little pond. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? That's pretty awesome. Right off the interstate too. Yeah, right off the interstate. Emma likes it, do you Emma? Emma, do you like it? Do you like it? Oh, this is awesome. We're so happy to have our house back. <coughs> Gee, thank you. It's 82 degrees. 82 degrees, fantastic. Look at that sky. Mm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Heavenly. Evansville, Indiana. Sunset over a little pond right here. Thank you so much for watching us. We hope you like this video. 
please like, comment, and subscribe if you would. And uh, we'll talk to you guys on in the next video. Bye, guys.